Hello Cougs, uh, welcome to Code with Cougar. In this video, we're going to speak about uh, user input validation in Python. We can take user's input using the input function, which returns the user input as a string. Uh, but the user may enter any type of data. Suppose we want the user to enter only integer value. The user may enter a string value, a character, or a floating pine number, which we don't want. So in this video, we are going to uh, learn about some uh, user input validation technique before processing the data. We want to make sure the user enter uh, the correct value we want uh, before processing the data. Suppose we want to take the user's age uh, and store it in age variable. We can do it using the in, uh, input function in Python and give the user a message, enter your age. Since age uh, return, uh, input returns the age as a string, we got to cast it to integer value. And suppose this, we uh, only want to print uh, the user's age back to the screen. You are age years old. That's it. Let's run our program. If we enter a correct age, say five, you're five years old, perfect. Let's run again and enter some uh, floating pine number 3.3. .3. It says uh, before printing the uh, this message, it terminates our program and uh, returns a value error exception. So an exception happened or a, an error happened and it terminated our program from executing the rest of the code here. Uh, suppose uh, the user enters a string, say he says three years old. It again, again gives a value type error and terminates our program and prevent executing the rest of the code uh, in our program. In order to validate the user input and prevent our uh, program from crashing and terminating, we can use the try catch uh, block or try except block in Python. What basically does the try, uh, we, we are going to do something inside the try block and inside the except or catch block. We catch any uh, error, any type of error happens uh, and prevent our program from crashing and uh, terminating. So let's continuously ask the user to enter uh, the name until he enters the correct name. Uh, please enter your name. So we're gonna put this message or do this action inside a try block. We are trying to get the users uh, age as input and if an exception happen we can catch the exception in except block what type of exception we want to catch we want to catch the value error exception or error value sorry mm, value error if value error happens so we are uh, trying to do something about it before uh, terminating our program we gotta prompt the user to enter a valid age mm. Invalid entry, please enter a valid age. And we continue uh, looping. We continue looping and uh, asking again the user to enter a valid age. And if the user enter uh, the valid age, uh, we uh, in the else block, we break the loop and print the rest of the message or execute the rest of the code we have here. Let's save our code and run. Uh, enter your age. Suppose I enter 4.4. Invalid entry, please enter a valid age. Suppose we I enter a string 4. Enter uh, a valid age. Mm, if enter a valid age. Suppose if I enter 5. So the user input is correct and it breaks the loop and prints the rest of the code. Suppose we want to mm, prevent the user uh, and catch a uh, Exceptions suppose the user want to if, if the user enter a negative number so an edge can not be negative we can uh, handle the uh, custom uh, exception or errors uh, we can uh, check if edge is less than zero we got a prompt the user print uh, edge cannot be negative and we continue the loop and uh, again ask the user to enter a valid uh, age or suppose the user enters a very long number if if age is greater than suppose say 120 years old 
we can uh, prompt the user age is too old please enter a valid age and we continue looping continue let's run our program suppose the user enters uh, minus 9 uh, age cannot be negative or 150 years old 150 is too old please enter a valid age suppose say 90 years old you are 90 years old and our program terminates suppose we want to take the user's name uh, and validate whether the user enter a valid name or not uh, let's prompt the user first name equal to input enter your first name if first name if not first name dot is alpha we check if uh, the first name or the username contain any uh, integer values or integer characters we don't accept that if it is not all alphabet uh, we print the user print invalid name else we just print his name print your name is F name H enter your name uh, suppose we enter code 1 2 3 or 23 so it's not a valid name it says invalid name or if we enter uh, integer values instead of name say this is my name so it shouldn't accept that if we uh, enter a valid name suppose a cougar okay uh, this is uh, enter age sorry uh, three cougar first name is cougar your name is cougar so that was the uh, validating the name or a string in, in Python. Suppose we want the user to enter uh, from a selection of a uh, set of selection of values. If, we, if, if the user enter uh, a value out of the selection, so we shouldn't accept that. Suppose we have our choices as less choice equal to. So user can uh, enter, uh, select from 1 up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or we can use the range function to generate a quick list of numbers. Uh, choice equal to end input. Please select a number between 1 to 10 if the user selects uh, any number out of this range we shouldn't uh, accept that and uh, prompt the user to enter the correct input uh, we can check if c not in choices if user didn't select any number in uh, from this range we can uh, prompt the user print please select 1 to 10 else we just print the uh, user selection print C H4 name cooler please uh, select a number suppose we select uh, 30 please select uh, 1 to 10 so it doesn't accept 30 or if we select uh, 3 it will print the 3 so that was all about input validation in Python hope you learned something uh, please subscribe to code with Cougar uh, for 
future videos thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video